Hi, today we're going to try and create a fruit salad. I'm going to give you some step-by-step -step instructions. Please feel free to change the fruit because the actual fruit um, that you use is down to you and what you've got in the house. Um, <clears throat> some of you might like things like grapes um, and, and I, I don't have grapes in the house at the moment. Um, so <clears throat> we've got a range of fruit. I've got strawberries, uh, raspberries, okay these aren't great for fruit salad because they go a little bit mushy um i've got a mango i've got an orange for a little bit of juice i've got some apple and i may put in um a pineapple because depending on the time of year depending on the, the fruits that are sort of available in the shop um <clears throat> so first of all the last thing i'm going to cut is um the soft fruit which are my strawberries and raspberries and my apple because uh, some of you may notice that the, with the sugar content of apple if you leave it for a while it goes brown in the um in the air in the oxygen okay so first of all i'm going to make some juice to put into my bowl and you'll need um a bowl and <clears throat> to put all your stuff in and if you haven't got an orange, you can use some fruit juice that you've already cut, you've already got in the fridge, in the fridge maybe, or a little carton, um, or you don't really need lots of juice to go with it. Um, but I'm going to use a bit of orange juice. I'm just going to show you how I would how I would do it with my juicer. Okay. So I'm going to use the what we call the bridge hold, and the bridge hold is where we use our our hand. It's hard to show you a above the fruit okay and we're going to hold it like that i'm going to put the, the knife in the center of it and then i'm going to cut down and that will give me two halves now i want to cut mine to be able to juice it easily so i've got the bottom and the top so i'm going to cut it slice it across it not down okay now i'm going to get my little bowl okay some of these come with like a little plastic bottle which is helpful and i'm just going to squeeze or a little tray to go in it okay a little bit of my orange to go as a, a juice or a base for my fruit salad okay once i've done that i'm going to put that to one side for me to wash later now I really like using this little bit here because it's quite juicy, okay? But I'm going to pop that over there for one second. And I've now got a little bit of juice to use. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to cut some of the orange up. And I'm going to use the same method, my bridge method. So I'm creating a bridge like that over the food that I'm cutting. And I'm using my knife. This is a sort of size knife that you want to use, a paring knife, and I will sort of leave a list <coughs> elsewhere um, for you to have a look through. They're quite sharp and you do need to be very careful, and this is why we use these specific cutting methods, okay? You don't really want to be trying to cut these with a, a knife that you would eat with because you'll slip and actually you could do quite a lot more damage than you could with a sharp knife. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've cut that in half again and I'm always trying to find a flat surface, okay? And now I'm going to use a different cutting method and that is the claw. I'm making a claw, like an animal claw, and I'm holding it steady and I'm going to use the top of my thick finger on the knife and I'm just going to cut across and cut off the end. That method, the claw, okay? This method, the bridge, because you're creating a bridge over the top of the food that you're cutting. Once I've done that, what I'm going to do is cut down, is use the claw again, is I'm going to cut off. You can peel the orange, and I'm just doing it like this, really, for quickness. Um, but you need to make sure you haven't really got much of that pith left on, that, that white bit, because that's the bit that tastes quite bitter. Um, a little bit won't matter. Okay, but the more you can cut off, the less bitter it will be. Now I've got this. I'm just going to use my claw method and cut it into little slices, okay? Now, what I'm trying to look for in my fruit salad, and actually I'm going to see that bit, and I think, well, I don't really want all that white in it, okay? But those bits are fine, and I'm just going to cut them a little bit smaller. Now, I'm going to get out <coughs> a... A bag here my composting bag okay 
and I'm going to put my fruits and stuff, fruit peel straight in. You might have a caddy in the kitchen or you might not have one, but you can put them somewhere in another bowl or something ready. I'm going to put mine straight into a composting bag so they'll be ready to go straight into the recycling. Okay, some of you may have compost bins in, in gardens or down in allotments, okay? So now I'm going to just quickly move my bowl into the centre and I'm going to scrape it off into my bowl back and go. Now because we're cutting lots of different fruit, we don't need to keep re-cleaning our um, topping board. The next thing I'm going to do is cut my mango, okay? And there are several ways of cutting. Some people like to take all the skin off, but this is the way I prefer. Just off centre, okay? I'm going to hold it in the bridge method, okay? And just off centre, I'm going to cut down. Inside a mango is a really large stone. Can you see how I move to the claw method there, okay? What I'm trying to do is do it the safest I possibly can and keep my fingers as far away. Can you see that? There's a large stone in there. And if I tried to cut straight down the centre, it wouldn't let me do that. Now I've got one half of this. I'm not going to use the rest of my mango. I'm going to put that back in the fridge. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've got my a sort of shell of it. I'm going to use a claw method. I'm going to put slices into it. See how I moved to the bridge then because it became dangerous? Okay, and I'm going to make mine. And what I'm doing is making squares. Once I've done my squares, I'm going to push, okay, like magic. And as again, I'm going to move it. I'm going to hold the edge of it really tight. And then I'm going to cut my little cubes off into my bowl. Now, I love mango. Ooh, dropped it in there. I It tastes so sweet. And... Um, you know, this is a, a, a dessert that's it's quite healthy for you. It's quite it's got quite a lot of natural sugar. That's good to know. Apologies, that was my phone. So I'm cutting now. I've cut all my mango. I've cut it off into the bowl. Okay. The next thing I'm going to have a go at cutting is my um, pineapple. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is use a big fat claw there and I'm gonna cut it down. Now, if you've got something like this, you need to move it round because what you'll find is your knife, your nice little sharp paring knife is not quite big enough to be able to go straight through the um, pineapple. You can get a larger knife um, you know, I've got a larger knife here, but actually I haven't got as much control with it. Okay, and I'm going to do the same there. I'm going to hold it in a claw really tight. The good thing about um, pineapples is because they're quite um, gnarly, they, they're not so slippy like, like some of the other fruit, which has got quite a smooth finish. Okay, and I keep moving it roundwards and I'm cutting down. And now I've got sort of two fairly smooth bases. Now... I've got quite a lot of what I would look as as a little bit dirty on there. So I'm going to go over, uh, just give my board a quick rinse. I'm not going to bother drying it because it's only water. I'm just going to rinse off that dirt. Now, I'm going to cut this off now. I'm going to hold the top of this um, in the claw like that. And again, I'm going to go down and I'm going to cut. Now, I don't want to cut all of it off. I only want to cut a thin slice, look. And then I'm going to move round and do, and I'm going to do that all the way round my pineapple. And I'm not going to put the whole of this in, so I'm going to go halfway round, okay? And then I'm going to cut downwards. I'm going to move it around so I'm cutting sensibly, okay? And I'm going to cut downwards. So now I've only got half. The rest of it I'm going to leave with the skin on because it will be easier for me to, to, to sort of keep and look after in the fridge. Okay, got rid of all my edge bits. Now, any sort of little bits that I've got left, I might want to cut off. I don't mind eating them, but if you were presenting this to someone as a dish, you might not want to have these sort of imperfections on there. But please don't cut too much off because they really are, you know, 
lovely and actually you can use these imperfection bits and put them all in a big bowl and make a smoothie with them or something because they'll blend down quite well okay so <clears throat> now i've got my uh de-skinned for want of a better term uh, pineapple okay what i'm going to do is use my claw method cut it into slices now i'm looking at my bowl there i don't want all of that even so i'm going to put some to one side and now I've done my claw method, I'm going to use my claw again and cut it into strips. Can you see how I've got that flat surface on the bottom? Okay, and I'm, what I'm trying to do is make sure that I've got some friction. Now, one of the problems with my current dish is the colour. It's really quite boring. Um, you know, fruit salad, we always think of oh, sort of very um, colourful dishes, okay? So what I want to do is add, I'm going to mix it up a bit, still very, very bland, is add some colour to it, okay? Uh, and this is where my strawberry is going to come in, okay? Now, I've washed these a little bit and I've let them dry off. I'm just going to cut, using my claw method again, the ends off as close to the edge as possible don't cut them there just because it's got a white bit it doesn't matter as close to the end as possible okay then i'm gonna bridge method over the top bridge method over the top now if your strawberries are quite small you might want to cut them just in half and if they're quite big you might want to cut them into long quarters okay and i've added them in again my bridge method from my halves into quarters and put them in. Can you see now how I've got a little bit more colour and it's sort of starting to look much more interesting as a dish? Um, the next thing I'm going to put in is an apple. Now I've showed you the, the method, so I would cut it, put it down and cut it like with a claw method over the top until I've got two halves. Okay. Now there are machines or, or sort of devices, equipment that you can get that will, will cut and um, decore it. It's, um, an apple core it's called and it's a sort of circle and it will slice and core it at the same time. Um, I don't particularly like using them personally. I find them a little bit fiddly. Okay, so I'm going to cut mine into quarters again. Use my claw method. Okay, and this time using my claw method carefully, I'm going to cut that core out, okay? The same here, I can keep it flat. I'm just trying to show you, keep it flat and I can cut it out. I'm using the sharp pointy bit of my knife then. I get rid of that, put that in the bin bit, in my recycling, okay? And now what I want to do is cut it into smaller bits, but I've got these nice bright red of the apple, okay? With the, the lovely sort of, sort of cream of the flesh. Bridge method, claw method. Try and keep your slices or your chunks even in, 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 in um, size, okay? What I've also got now is, is lots of really nice different textures, okay? Um, my orange juice has got acid in and it's gonna help stop my um, apple browning. Raspberries, it's entirely up to you. If you cut them, you need to do it really gently, okay? Because they look lovely inside, but actually they, they, they're they so delicate that they will squish and squash really easily. Now, I've, I've cut them, they're a little bit less ripe, um, and I've cut them down. Um, but can you see now, I've got this sort of like this array, almost like a flame of colours, like a fire of fruit salad. Um, and if I added a few more raspberries and a few more strawberries, I'd have this sort of really nice, delicious array of it. I can get my orange juice now, just give it a swill over the top, okay? And you're ready to serve. You could serve it with yogurt if you want a really healthy dish or a natural yogurt with no sugar in, or cream if you want something a little bit more, um, well, less healthy, but a bit more richer. And if you want to go really out and have a sort of really, really luxurious dish, maybe get some meringue to go with it. But this is a nice healthy snack and all of you will be able to do this.
Okay.